If you think throwing a standard tarp over a foxhole will hide you from a thermal drone, you are already a casualty. Let's be brutally clear. That drone isn't looking for a person. It's hunting for a mathematical anomaly. It's scanning for contrast. Picture a drone's view, a stark, cold landscape of grays and blacks with one impossibly bright, man-shaped blob of white screaming for attention. That's you. The fundamental mistake is thinking the sensor just sees heat. It doesn't. It sees the difference. It's your constant 98.6 degree body against the 60 degree soil, the 50 degree air. Your simple cover isn't hiding you. It's just getting warmed up by you, becoming a bigger, slightly dimmer, but still obvious target. The enemy is contrast. To defeat this enemy, you must understand its weapons. The fundamental laws of heat transfer. There are three, and you must beat them all. First is radiation. This is the primary threat. Your body constantly sheds infrared radiation, invisible energy waves that thermal cameras are designed to see. Second, conduction. Heat transfer through direct touch. Lean against a cold wall and your warmth bleeds into it. If your shelter touches you, your heat conducts straight to the outer surface, lighting it up. And third, convection, which is heat carried by air. This is the only one most people consider. They throw up a tarp, block the wind, and think they're invisible. They've only stopped convection, but they're still a radiant beacon, conducting heat to their cover. A true ghost shelter must be an absolute prison for all three forms of heat. So let's begin construction from the inside out. We start with a small, low-profile dugout, just enough space to exist. The first layer we install is the most critical because it attacks the biggest threat, your own radiant heat. This is your radiant barrier. We're using a Mylar emergency blanket, but its placement is completely counterintuitive. You must face the shiny, reflective side inward towards your body. The goal here isn't to hide from the outside world yet. The goal is to manage your internal signature. That Mylar surface is an almost perfect mirror for long wave infrared radiation. It captures nearly all the heat radiating off your body and reflects it right back at you, preventing that thermal energy from ever escaping and beginning its journey to the outer layers of your shelter. You are containing your own thermal signature at ground zero. With the radiant heat now contained, we have a new problem. The air inside your Mylar cocoon will get warm. And if that warm Mylar touches the next layer, the heat will conduct straight through. This is where we defeat conduction with layer two, the dead air gap. It's incredibly simple, but non-negotiable. Using small sticks, you prop up the next layer of your shelter at least six inches above the Mylar radiant barrier. This creates a pocket of trapped, unmoving air, and air is an exceptionally poor conductor of heat. This dead air gap acts as a powerful insulator, a buffer zone. Without it, the heat from inside would simply find the path of least resistance, conduct through the mylar and directly into the outer cover, causing the roof of your shelter to glow. This gap breaks that thermal bridge completely. With the radiant heat trapped and buffered by dead air, you have solved the internal problem but now you must deal with the external heat signature that gives you away. To neutralize that signature, you need a cold roof, a heavy layer of dense material like sod or packed earth that absorbs any remaining heat bleed before it reaches the surface. This is your third layer, a thermal sponge of at least 12 inches of packed soil, thick turf, or dense snow. Its job isn't insulation. The dead air gap below already handled that. The purpose of this thermal mass is to achieve perfect temperature equilibrium with the surrounding ground. Any stray warmth that manages to sneak through gets soaked up by this dense layer and dissipates, never forming a hot spot. To an overhead thermal imager, your shelter's roof becomes indistinguishable from the earth a dozen feet away. It's a seamless patch in the thermal landscape, but even a perfectly cold shelter can betray its location. Technology doesn't just see heat, it sees patterns and humans build in straight lines. This is where you practice something called shape discipline. A drone's optical sensors and pattern recognition AI are tuned to spot anomalies. Nature is irregular. A perfect square circle or triangle is an artificial scar on the landscape. You must break the silhouette. This isn't just scattering leaves on top. It's a deliberate art of chaos. Obscure every straight edge and corner with fallen branches to create jagged, random lines that cross your shelter's true boundaries. Pile debris and clumps of sod in uneven mounds to disrupt the flat plane of the roof. 
The goal is to destroy the hard shadows cast by geometric shapes and blend your outline into the random texture of the forest floor, making your structure look like just another piece of natural deadfall. With the structure cloak, the final vulnerability is you, the living heat engine inside. This is where thermal discipline becomes paramount. Every breath you exhale is a plume of warm air, a beacon that's brilliantly visible to a thermal sensor. You have to manage this signature. The simplest method is breathing through a dense filter, like a wool scarf. The material acts as a heat exchanger, capturing the warmth and dispersing it over a larger surface area, cooling it before it enters the open air. A more permanent solution is a mouse hole vent, a small concealed tunnel leading from your living space into the base of a thick bush or a pile of loose leaves. Your breath doesn't vent upwards in a concentrated column. Instead, it diffuses slowly through the countless air pockets within the brush, its thermal signature dissipating harmlessly at ground level, completely masked from above. We've built the shield, but now we need to fool the mind behind the machine. If you're ready for offensive tactics, subscribe now so you don't miss our upcoming field test. Now, let's talk active deception. You can't just be invisible, you must mislead. This means creating decoy heat sources. The method is simple. A small candle or a chemical hand warmer placed under an overturned tin can, positioned 50 to 100 yards away from your actual location. Place two or three of these decoys to an automated drone system tasked with investigating thermal anomalies. These are irresistible targets. They present a clear heat source that mimics a person or warm equipment. While the AI diverts its attention to investigate these false positives, your actual colder shelter is ignored. It exploits the machine's logic. So let's recap the keys. First, radiant reflection inside, bouncing your heat back at you. Second, a dead air gap for insulation, stopping heat transfer. And third, a cold, irregular roof outside, absorbing the final traces and breaking the shape. Mastering these layers of physics and discipline is the only way to stop being a target and start becoming a ghost. If you learned something from this video, drop a comment. What's the next threat you want to disappear from? Drones, dogs, thermal scopes, or satellites? Your answer decides the next build. Stay safe, survive, and stay sketchy.